going to do a deduction proof using proof by contradiction. Now we saw previously a, a proof that did um, negation introduction, and this is kind of very similar to that. So proof by contradiction is a backwards reasoning step. And if we pull up the sequence that was used in Professor Ellis' lightboard session here, we want to be able to go from the premise not p implies p, and to be able to deduce p. Right? Now, in negation introduction, you saw that you need the form ne not something, and it's going to assume that something and try to arrive at a contradiction. So proof by contradiction is very, very similar. It's just that you're starting uh, not with the not, but you're starting with uh, a formula here itself. And so in a backwards reasoning step, we use uh, proof by contradiction, and we're using classical contradiction here. Constructive is that if you have bottom, it can deduce anything that you want, but instead we're trying to do the classical uh, proof by contradiction. So it's going to assume the negation of this, and it's scoping out our box here. And if we can deduce bottom from this assumption here, then automatically we can deduce uh, this final step P here by proof by contradiction. And so now that we have not p as an assumption, we're able to use our premise here, which is not p implies p, and in a forward step, use our implication elimination. And this should look familiar from steps that we have before. Now that we have not p and p together, we can use the negation elimination to get to this uh, inconsistency here. Right? So we can deduce bottom by using negation elimination. So it's a very small step, but um, this is the trick that you might need to use. It's not immediately clear that you want to be doing a proof by contradiction. So this is one of the decision points when it comes to proving sequence that you've never seen before. Um, perhaps you want to work forward and try to pick apart the different premises that you have, or work backwards and try and prove something by contradiction or negation introduction or implication introduction. So these are the strategies that you need to start working on. Um, and coming up, we're going to show a number of different strategies of when you might use these different rules.